Hey guys, it's Laurel from Macanudo, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about the Inspirato White. If you are not familiar with this blend, it came out in 2017 alongside of our Inspirato Black and uh, directly following the release of our Inspirato Orange in the United States in 2016. And that's kind of the cigar that started it all for the Inspirato series, originally in our European market. This is a great cigar because it's a perfect embodiment of being mellower with a fuller flavor. A common misconception is that you can't have a fuller flavored cigar without the cigar being fuller bodied um, and that the two are always synonymous and that's just not the case. Uh, so this is a really good example of that. We use a Connecticut shade wrap wrapper that we grow in Ecuador and what I affectionately like to call a mountain bowl um, in this particular region where the tobacco is grown. So Connecticut shade literally means that it has to be grown in indirect sunlight in the shade. So in the United States when we're growing Connecticut wrappers, um, we actually use a very thin sheet of plastic. In Central America, uh, we use cheesecloth to filter the sunlight, but in Ecuador where this is grown, um, we get about 300 days of natural cloud coverage a year. So Mother Nature actually kind of does the job for us, which is pretty cool. So Connecticut shade wrapper grown in Ecuador, Indonesian binder, and then two regions of Nicaragua and Mexican San Andrean for the filler. So the wrapper has got creaminess and depth and a little bit of spice, and then it balances out really, really nicely with the filler with the Mexican San Andrean and Nicaraguan tobacco, adding a little additional spice, but balancing out the wrapper very nicely. And then the Indonesian binder is going to really give it a nice, pleasant floral aroma. It's a very unique cigar, um, not only in the flavors, um, but also in what you'd expect it to deliver. Looking at the cigar, it doesn't look like it's going to pack really any spice to it. And it's definitely not spicy by any means, but it has that pleasant amount of bite that you want, um, especially from a mellower cigar, which is very, very interesting. Um, I love to smoke the cigar in the morning because it's got enough to it that it holds my interest um, without being too strong if I haven't had anything to eat yet. Uh, to pair, if I'm going to pair it with beer, um, I usually prefer like an IPA or an amber with this. If you're a wine drinker, I would recommend more of like an oaky Chardonnay. And if you're a spirits drinker, um, I personally like to drink a spiced rum with this. I think that the sweetness from the rum really balances out the little bit of spice from this really, really nicely. But pairings are very, very subjective. It depends on what you like. It depends on what you like to drink, what you like to smoke. And uh, I definitely don't want to tell you that you can or cannot pair something with your cigar. It's really whatever you like. Um, my note would be just to make sure that it does complement each other nicely. You don't want the cigar to overpower the drink, and on the other end, you don't want the drink to overpower the cigar. This is offered in four different sizes. We do a Gigante, a Churchill, a Toro, and a Robusto, and it's just, it's really a great, easy, everyday smoker. You don't have to think about it, but it's delivering the really nice flavor that you would expect from a Macanudo and maybe that you wouldn't expect from something that looks a little bit more mellow. If you have any questions about the blend, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Um, I would be happy to direct you to a store that sells them. I would be happy to talk about it, answer anything you wanna know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a wonderful night. Thank you.